All right, hello and welcome. Uh, I know it's been a very long time since I did a video, but I felt like um, this is um, this is gonna be a really useful video for people that are gonna use my um, audio engine plugin. I've received uh, numerous questions from from multiple people, and I'm just gonna address um, some common issues and uh, how I usually implement my my audio sources. So uh, yeah, that's gonna be really easy. We're just gonna start here. Um, just just FYI, I know there's two other tutorials video on videos on my uh, on my audio engine plugin, and the they like, go really into details of each little feature of the of the plugin, and but not the uh, spatial audio part. Like, uh, but uh, yeah, this is just gonna be a quick video on how you if you just want to implement the implement the spatial audio feature, how to do it. So okay, uh, first of all, I'm just gonna show you a scene. Uh, yeah, it's on my second screen. Sorry about that. Okay, so uh, it's just gonna be a crossroad map like this. There's a, there's a horse and carriage here. As you can see, that's gonna be one of the source uh, spatial uh, BGS. It's gonna be, yeah, you're gonna hear a horse and a carriage sound. Okay, there's, um, okay, let me just walk over here. There's a big tree, yeah, cool. And there's a little pond, a little body of water over here. And there's gonna be a water kind of um, sound coming from it. It's, I think it's just gonna be the river BGS, but I could probably find a better uh, probably find a better BGS uh, if I want, really wanted to. Okay, so okay, so let's get started. So first of all, it's important to know that the, um, the implementation is like two part. The first part is going to it's going to be to actually create the spatial uh, BGS and the second part is going to be um, attaching it to uh, some uh, if some to some sources like from where the sound is going to emanate from so that's usually going to be the event so for the water it's going to be the water for the horse it's going to be the horse ex itself it's important you don't call the plugin command in the event that that is the source of um of the sounds you just you just create it once you just call the plugin command once when you create the spatial audio so uh yeah just do an auto run that's how i do it parallel works fine too but just remember, since you want to only call it once, you have to erase the event at the end. Okay, so we're gonna do a plugin command. You just select my plugin like this, add spatial. It's gonna be a BGS in our case. If you select BGM, that works too. It's gonna be for cases like you have a musician playing outside or or I don't know, um, there's someone singing. But like in our case, it's gonna be a BGS. The first part, it's really straightforward. You just select the file. So in our, our case, we're gonna start with the river, the the little body of water, so it's gonna be. Real. I'm not gonna play it because it's really loud. Okay, so there we go. The pitch, yeah, that's fine. It's, I guess, I guess I'll set it to just to be original. And then uh, the maximum, it's really loud, so let's just set it to 30. Okay, so um, I'm not gonna like uh, go into detail for all the other settings. For now, we're gonna do it for the horse. Uh, but just keep in mind the channel is number one. So for all the spatial BGS, BGM or BGMs are apart. So for all the special BGS, you can only have one channel attached to one spatial BGS. So for the horse, BGS can't be number one too, since we're using channel number one for uh, our river. Well, not really river, but you know what I mean. Okay, river channel one. We're not gonna touch this for touch these for now. We're just gonna hit OK and it's created. And don't forget to erase the event. Just uh, for those who don't know, when you erase the event, you don't erase it for. Um, for always, you just erase it for the duration on you're on the map. If you leave the map and come back, it's it's still gonna exist and run itself once. So the reason we want to do this is because we only want to run this once. You you don't want to run this twice. Okay, so just hit OK. Okay, this is part one. So the spatial audio is created, but if you hit uh, play, you're not gonna hear any sound because there's no sources from which this uh, this uh, BGS come from. So this is the water. What you're gonna want to do is for the source, you create an event for this. Uh, we're, just, we're gonna call this uh, um, uh, spatial, uh, spatial BGS water, okay. And then this is where uh, the magic happens. You have to uh, write like this. You write this, uh, I don't know how, how to call this. Is it a crescendo or whatever? You just write BGS underscore source. And then the number of the the channel number for for uh, the river it's gonna be um, channel number one so you just hit one and you just close it with a decrescendo like this okay just hit um, okay like this and uh, you it's important to know it doesn't need to there's there's no need to have only one source you can have multiple sources so if, if I play it like this well if you're gonna play it in game. 
You're gonna hear it for sure. Let's just get to that part. I don't know when. Okay. So there we go. You hear it, but like, if you go here, you can't really hear it anymore because you went away. But the water's still there, so having only one uh, audio source is kind of weird for this. So we're gonna kind of multiply it a few times. So I, usually I just copy it like this. There we go. That's very professional. Yeah, I guess uh, like this. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay, there we go. This should be good. And then, when you go in game. Okay, so you, you hear the water here, you get away, the sound kind of fades. There we go, you get closer, and it pans to the left here, the sound. It could be smoother, uh, I'll give you that, but... Okay, so this works. So now we only have this the, the, the horse care and the carriage here left. Okay, so let's do it. You enter here, and we're gonna create another one. So don't don't forget, it's two part. You have to create the special spatial audio first, and then you attach it to a source. Okay, so let's go here. It's a BGS. This time I have um, a beautiful fall called here horse uh, chariot. Sorry about that. It's gonna be really loud. Okay, so there we go. The pitch is uh, yeah, that's fine. Maybe we're gonna lower it a bit because it's a bit fast. And then uh, the volume 90 is a bit high. We're going to set it to 75. And, uh, okay, so let's go uh, in details for the other settings. For, first of all, channel. It needs to be at least two. Well, it can be pretty much any other number, but not one. Okay, so uh, we're going to start with um, this here. It's called dynamic. That's, by default, it's uh, it's off. But for all the events that, for all the, uh, for all sources that aren't uh, fixed to a single location and that can actually move, like your horse in this case, you have to set it to true. It's going to be uh, more resource intensive because it's going to check if either the player or the the, the source moved. But um, if you set it to yeah, that's pretty much for it. If if general rule, if the event moves, it just set it to to on. Otherwise, if it's like the water it doesn't really move, you just leave it to off. Okay, next is the radius. So the sound, uh, so it fades in and out depending on the player's position to the event. And it's not like uh, the di di the distance is actually calculated uh, like uh, with the Pythagorean uh, like formula. So it's not like the number of tiles you're away. So um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, eight uh, and for the horse, it's actually a bit too low. I think I'm gonna set it to like, I don't know, 14. Or uh, no, I'm gonna set it to 15. I want you to hear it like it. Okay, max volume, that's straightforward. Okay, so strength, you don't need really to play on it, but uh, you don't really need to touch it. But if you want to understand how it works is uh, basically, um, so uh, the closer you get, the louder the sound is, and the further away you are, the the lower the sound is. And it's a, the way it scales by default, it's a, it's a linear uh, scaling. If you don't want it, if you don't want the sound to, the fade in and out to be linear, uh, you have to modify the strength here. So you just play play with it, you're gonna see. Okay, next. Uh, the padding type, the padding type. Okay, so by default it's origin, expand, I think there's only two, right? Yeah, there's also none. If you don't want to sound, uh, if you don't want uh, any padding, that's if you want like the sound to go from left to right and uh, spatial positioning. By default it's origin, expand. That means, um, yeah, that's the that's the one you're, you're used, so just use this one. Linear, it's more like um, as soon as you're right, it's gonna be like to the to to your left ear completely. So yeah, just play with that's like if you have like a 2D platformer game, like a side view kind of thing, not a top down view like this. But just leave it to your origin expand for now. Okay, so these two settings here, it's um, when you want this the sound to start fading out, uh, to start panning. Sorry, not fading, uh, panning out. So um, that means. If you're in a radius of three of the horse, it's gonna play like right in the middle of the sound. As soon as you're a th further away from three, a distance of three, it's gonna start panning. That's pretty much, that's that's basically what it means. So um, the problem with panning, if you only leave it to one, is it's really easy for the sound to shift from left to right. Like you only move one tile and 
one or two tails and the sounds goes from 100% to your right to 100% to your left and it's really weird. So that's why I implemented this little system. So the padding is also like gradual. So we're gonna leave it at three for now and we're just gonna set it to, I think six is fine. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, six is pretty, six, yeah, that's fine, okay. Okay, so if we do this, okay, so source number two and then we need to go here we're gonna do like we did before. Oh, sorry about that. B B G S underscore source two. We save and we start the game. There we go. You should hear the horse and should go from left to right. There we go, it works. Uh, I'll just increase the sound and stop uh, talking so you, you guys can hear. <laughs> So yeah, uh, that's pretty much it for um, for uh, this video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, if you have any further questions, you can always ask me in the comments or contact me on the forums or just uh, post it on the, the thread, on the, the, the plugin uh, thread on the forums. I'm going to answer. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. Is there anything else I left, uh, I left out? Um, uh, yeah, for the rest, if you want to have any information on all the rest, that means over here, uh, please consult the um, my two other videos. I have two other videos uh, talking about this plugin more in depth than this. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope you, oh, I think there's PGM, there's a thing. Uh, yeah, there's something called crossfade here. Uh, I just want to bring it to this to your attention because uh, 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 sometimes the map just has some music, some background music. Crossfade is going to actually fade between the map's music and um, the source of this. That means uh, it's going to play the map music, and the closer you get to the the source, uh, it's going to it's basically going to be um, it's basically going to crossfade between the the map's music and uh, the source of audio. I'll, I think there's actually an example. Oh, what did I do? Well, I'm just going to fix it later. I think whatever. Okay, sorry about that. Okay, let's. I'll show you what what the crossfade is. So, um, I think there's one of my maps that are that. Okay, let's just go you know, like set this goddamn place. It's just some testing, just more of this. Uh... Okay, this that was really loud. Sorry about that. Okay, let's just head. Yeah, I know there's no people. I'm working on this. Please don't uh, judge, and also don't judge the lo the looks of this map. It's just testing some. Of Effects. Okay, so there's a lady, lady singing over there. If you see, it's good. La, 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 la. Okay, whatever. She sings some Italian opera. So you don't, you only hear her. You don't really hear the map. But if you, if you just go here, you can hear her sing a little bit. But you can also hear the map music. So it crossfades between both depending on your distance. Oh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I know it's the second time I'm like doing a conclusion to this video, but whatever. I hope you guys enjoyed. Con contact me if you have any questions, and uh, I'll be happy to help. See you guys.